up, YouTube? So, uh, got another yo yo review to do today. Uh, this is the G Squared Warthog from G Squared Yo Yo's. Oh, yeah. So, this is one of the three. I don't remember how many releases they did last year. Uh, I'm not sure. So, this is one of three G Squared Yo Yo's that I have. Um, this is the most recent acquisition. Um, I got this uh, locally. Uh, I, this was a, uh, I bought this from a guy that won it, uh, so I believe this is part of the first run, um, this is the Andromeda colorway, and, uh, it is just beautiful, um, yeah, probably the prettiest yo, -yo I own, um, just beautiful, uh, wasn't fast enough to snag up one of these whenever they were, uh, New. I can't remember what I was doing when this colorway dropped, but uh, of the second run, I wasn't around for the first one. I uh, don't remember what I was doing when this colorway dropped, but <clears throat> whatever it was, I, I didn't get there in time. Not that that's surprising. I think I was a few minutes late, two, three minutes maybe, and they, they had been gone for, you know, two minutes and 30 seconds uh, by the time I showed up. So, uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful... Uh, colorway here. Like I said, this one was a was a was one. This was a prize, so I believe this is part of the first run, not the second one. Uh, but I got it, super good deal. Go to Yo-Yo Club. That's where I bought this. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so let's get into the specs, and then I'm going to talk about it a little bit and, and do the thing. You guys know how this works. Um, so diameter of this Yo-Yo is 57.5 millimeters, and the width is 44.2 millimeters. The weight is 65 grams even um that's pretty much a sweet spot for me 65 66 grams um this plays even a little heavier than that so uh you know as far as all that's concerned awesome just awesome uh the uh bearing that sh it comes with is the size c boss rage bearing i prefer the boss ripper bearing um i got one of those I uh, got a couple of them, actually, from, from the man himself, from G2J. I got this cool t-shirt, too. <laughs> and uh, flowable silicone, Jake silicones these himself, and uh, this is the 6061 aluminum version, but there is an AL7 version, which I believe is just a little bit heavier. Um, but tell me if I'm wrong on that. I think it's just a little bit heavier, basically the same design, though. Uh, so let's get into it a little bit. So, um... Really like this yo-yo. Uh, all three of the G-Square yo-yos I have, the Banshee, the Warthog, and the Wolf, um, are all very different. And I think they all three were released last year, at the earliest, like, late 2015, into this year, into last year, 2016. Um, and they're all very different, and they're all very awesome. Uh, this is uh, no exception to that. This, I believe, is really more of an all-arounder kind of a yo-yo. Uh, very similar. My first throw... Um, and it's, although it's lighter than, and a little more nimble, my very, my first throw, uh, my first thought was, oh man, that's kind of very, that feels very shuddery in my first throw. Maybe just because it's really stable, like there's a lot of, there's a good bit of rim weight here, and it's very stable. So when I threw it, I was like, okay, very stable, um, not as heavy as the shutter is, but in that sort of realm of stability as far as the shutter is concerned, as far as that's concerned. So, um... Kind of cool as far as that's concerned, you know, Shutter notoriously stable yo-yo, uh, and the uh, Warthog is no exception. Uh, they sort of share some similar uh, widths and diameters, although the Shutter is about 67.5 grams, 67-ish grams, uh, so the Shutter's a little bit heavy, but this weighs in right at that 65 gram point, although it plays a little heavier because you feel a lot of... Uh, uh, weight in the rims, and there's a there's a cut in there, and I am going to take this apart at some point, and I'll show you the undercut that kind of allows for some of the center weight to be removed, but there's a lot more weight in the rims, so it plays like it's heavier, but it's not heavier, so it's kind of a little bit more nimble in that in that regard. Um, so the cup, uh, and I don't have one to illustrate, is uh, very much you know if you're talking about very popular yo-yos, uh, very reminiscent to me anyway of the Yo-Yo Factory Horizon. So it kind of takes a lot of the best aspects, in my opinion, of the shutter and the horizon, and then adds some extra fun on top of that. Um, 
just that, you know, from my opinion, uh, the inner cup's kind of, the way it's shaped is sort of almost a combination of, of the horizon and the shutter, at least from, uh, now I don't have a horizon to sort of like show you and compare it to, but just the couple that I've played with, kind of like, if you're going to kind of look at it from like a very base perspective of like, well, what's it comparable to? Uh, take the best of the horizon, the best of the shutter, mush it together, and then, you know, kind of also add in some extra specialness. You kind of come out with the Warthog. Now, the, another thing the Warthog uh, has that's very, very cool is this big cup. Jake uh, uses them to really get some nice designs in there. Uh, this one's really awesome. I believe this is called Andromeda. Um, this is really awesome. It looks like space. Seriously, looks like space. Looks great. Uh, seen some really cool squir uh, G2 swirls as well that also look really good. This cup is really cool, and I think they're doing some custom painted ones as well. Uh, that, you know, just, it's a big cup. Looks great for splashes. It's going to look great for just whatever art you put on it. And, you know, G squared yo-yos are functional art, so it's functional art. Uh, some other uh, aspects that it shares with other yo-yos that I really like. Uh, this is the SF Yo-Yos SF. As you can see, the cup is very similar. Uh, how it just kind of comes to sort of a flat with this like little nub in there. Uh, this sort of has the same similar little like circular kind of like it's just a like a hair concaved in the center there. Uh, very similar to the way the SF Yo-Yos SF is just like it's concaved in there just a hair. Um, but if you want to look here at the uh, this is the uh, the uh, the Kraken, the one drop Kraken. Uh, shares some cup similarities, particularly around the rim, uh, with the little lip there, to the Kraken. And uh, yeah, you know, but it's it's kind of its own its own beast, its own warthog. Uh, it's a very cool yo-yo. It feels like it's it plays kind of big because it's not small by any stretch of the imagination. Here it is next to the uh, next to the Kraken. The Kraken is huge. And, you know, this isn't that much smaller than the Kraken. Uh, widths are, you know, Kraken's bigger, certainly, but it's, not, you know, not that much smaller. Uh, it's bigger than, here's the, here it is against the SF. Um, bigger than the SF in every way. Uh, you know, the SF, I'd say, is a very medium-sized, very standard-sized yo-yo. So it's a little bit, a little bit on the bigger side, but that's cool because the catch zone is massive, and you can really catch things. As you saw, I did a little whip in the beginning there, and I was just trying for some, you know, fun tricks because this is a fun yo-yo. Um, maybe not necessarily uh, contest-driven or a, a, you know, a, 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 a competition-specific yo-yo, um, but uh, still fun. And uh, you know, I'm sure you could use it for competition. Uh, one of the things, and then I'm going to illustrate here in a sec, that I've always really loved about G-squared yo-yos is Jake really goes out of his way to make sure the, um, G2 Jake, what's up dude, um, really goes out of his way to make sure that the grind finish is awesome. Uh, the only yo-yos, I would say the grind finish on this is, uh, equal to the blast, is, is just as good as the blasted finish on the, um, one drop, uh, Kuntosh 5000 QV. Uh, which is, you know, one of my top favorite finishes ever. Best feeling ever. So this is this feels just as good as that. I would say the only finish that I think feels better is the G2 uh, Banshee that's diamond blasted. Probably the only finish that feels better than this. But uh, I'll throw it around a little bit just kind of to illustrate some of the awesome features. So uh, even though I threw it crappy there, it's uh, super stable. This sucker is dead smooth, and I've changed the bearing. This sucker is dead smooth. No vibe. None. And uh, I've, like, I've changed the bearing and I've opened it a couple times. And I'm going to open it again. Still no vibe. Grind finish. Just awesome. Let's do that again. I can get a better one. Yeah. Just an awesome grind finish. Feels great. Can grind a good long while, easily controllable. Uh, thumb grind lip here, super easy to thumb grind on. Very very nice. Uh, big wide cup. I'm not actually good enough at finger spins to finger spin this yo-yo. I'm gonna try it. A little bit, a little bit there. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, you could do it, particularly if you're good at finger spins. I'm just learning them, and I need the, the, I need the yo-yos that, uh, you know, are for those of us who are finger spin impaired to, uh, to finger spin on. Um, but uh, it's kind of a no gimmick, no frill, you know. It just, it kind of does everything, you know. Um, there's that huge undercut there that really removes a lot of that center weight. Uh, as you can see, like I said, I put the uh, the Boss Ripper bearing on there, so it's the kind of center tracky looking one. It's a little different, but it's that one, the 10 ball. Smooth, silent, love it. A little steel axle there. Very good. You know, no, no complaints there. Uh, flowable silicone. Jake does the silicone himself on these ones. He does pads, and in, in I know the uh, Elite has the pads now, but... Uh, Flowable silicone in there. It's great. Uh, you know, just all around a great yo-yo. Now, I got this, I don't want to call it used because it was brand new in the box, but I didn't buy this from G-Squared, so my unboxing wasn't so, like, magical. But one of the things that I really, really like about G-Squared, that I really like about Jake particularly, is that he gets that, like, getting a new yo-yo, particularly a high-end, like, nice yo-yo, should be an experience. There should be an experience involved in that. So you get the box with the awesome artwork on it, which it's downstairs. I probably should have brought it up for this, but you've seen the box. You get the box with the awesome artwork on it. You get a string. You get an extra flat bearing. You get stick. You get a sticker. I love the G2 stickers. Hold on. I'm gonna show you my G2 sticker collection. Ugh. You get the G2 stickers, the G squared stickers, in there. Awesome. You get a pin. Mine didn't have a pin in it, but that probably wasn't, like I said, I got it used, so the fact that mine didn't have a pin in it didn't really, and it was a contest prize, that doesn't, that doesn't, doesn't, doesn't bother me, but like you get a pin, you get a sticker, you get a string, you get an extra bearing, I mean, that's the kind of stuff when you, oh, and, oh, and it's, it's wrapped beautifully, the new boxes have like, it's like a display holder, but this one was wrapped beautifully in uh, like gift tissue paper. It was wrapped, and it was like opening. It was like, oh, and I saw this beautiful colorway as I pulled the tissue paper away. I mean, it was great. Uh, it's, you know, awesome product. Yes, do you pay a good bit for, for G-squared yo-yos? Yeah, but you get everything you pay for. Um, you know, I think, you know, all made in America, hand-tested by the the man who owns the company. Um, Jake is... Super duper active in the community, puts up a vlog every day, and you know, just the, one of the nicest guys in the world. I, you know, if you have the the, you get the chance to meet him and go up and talk to him. I, I mean, just the nicest guy in the world. Makes some of the most fun yo-yos I've ever had the chance to the, have ever had the privilege of playing with and having the chance to own, and just you know, just does good stuff. He is Jake's a gem in the community, and uh, you know. I think uh, he puts out a pretty decent yo-yo, too, if you can't tell. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. The G-Squared Warthog. I like it a lot. I think it's a good all-arounder. Uh, good for just about everything. Um, I can't think of anything that it doesn't do pretty well. And uh, I have a lot of fun with it. I've been throwing it pretty much every day since I got it. And uh, it, it's super good. But tell me what you think. Do you have one? What other colorways do you have? Uh, this was my favorite one that it came out in. But uh, there's a lot of other cool ones, um, and I think Jake's going to do a lot more cool ones because there's a lot of cool potential here. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you've liked and subscribed, and uh, you know, tell me in the comments what do you think. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I really appreciate all the love and support lately, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers to you, and I'll see you next time.